Alright, so basically it's 318. My computer glitched and did not save my video that you guys are gonna see before this. It was kind of just a. Um, I'm kind of double uploading. I'm gonna upload this one as soon as I wake up. Um, and, you know, I'm uploading the one I'm rendering right now as soon as it gets done rendering. Um, I went to work expecting it to be upload, like it'd be ready to upload by the time I get home. Or even have my little brother do it, but no, obviously not. I feel so sick. I don't even know why. My stomach hurts so bad. So, in my last video, I I don't know if I actually mentioned it, but I think I did. Me and Miranda just kind of threw something together because it's story time. <clears throat> it's story time, you guys. Um. I'm barely, I'm not thankful for what happened, but I'm thankful for the outcome that did happen. Um, you guys know my dog. I'm gonna maybe try to put a picture of him up on the screen. Um, you know, he's a little cutie. I've had him in the, I, I don't even know. Maybe I've had him in a vlog. I don't know. Cutest dang dog I've ever seen, that's for sure. Uh, love him to death. I raised him. Me and, me and Miranda have raised him, and it's been such a journey it's been so much fun but it's really snowy where we live and the weather is absolutely horrible beautiful really beautiful weather in my opinion but really bad to drive in and loki doesn't quite know how that um but loki isn't the best at staying in our yard so sometimes loki Sometimes Loki runs out into the street and goes and plays with other dogs, and I do not, I do not like it, but he doesn't want, like to listen, he's a really rebellious dog. So we're getting him into, um, we're getting him into training as soon as Christmas goes by. Alright, so now that I've said all of that type of stuff, um, Loki, Loki definitely needs to get into training, and it's something I've been putting off because I haven't had money. I've been saving up for Christmas, stuff like that. Um, but today, while I was at school, something really, really bad to him happened. I mean, it's really bad to everybody, and it's such a sad thing. And we're we're really, really lucky to say that we can still have this dog as our pet because. I, I see him as a child. He's he's grown. I've had him since, you know, like legally I think you can have a dog. I think I've had him since about eight weeks. He was a pound puppy, so we don't know exactly when he was born. But So I was not there. I was going to get Miranda to tell this story, but I She's, no way I got that no scope, but she's asleep, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to wake her up specifically for the video, and I am doing trash, oh my god, no scope, <sighs> it, so, Miranda was there, and I wish she could be here to tell you guys a story, just so I don't lose any any details or anything like that because it's something that I don't want to it's something that it's the type of story that you don't want to mess up this mess up the little details and you know somebody think you're lying you're lying and stuff like that but I have a video and I'll throw up pictures as I'm editing this maybe if I like, I'll throw pictures if I can screenshot good enough ones from the video that I have earlier. I don't want to go wake him up because he needs to sleep. But let's get right into the story. I was at school, and me and Miranda are the type of, you know, dog owners to have to... We are the type of parents to our dog that... He is going to have as good as a Christmas as we are. Like, he's going to be able to open up Christmas presents. You know, as cringy as that sounds, um, we literally did buy Loki Christmas presents, and they are scented, so he will... He, he smelt them already. 
Oh my god. He smelt them already. He sniffs. He's sniffing out the presents every time he can. And he's like looking to eat them and you know everything like that. But Miranda was texting me about that, telling me that she's wrapping his stuff. And um, as she's telling me that, I'm at school at this time. Um, she texts me and she says, "Loki just got hit by a car." And you know, really, the first thing that I just thought about is, dang, like, this, he is my, like, second best friend. He's the guy I, you know, go to to get definitely half of my love, or, like, a lot of, a lot of the love of my, in my life. He's, he's a big part of my life, and I, it's, it's just a really, really hard thing. Um. My voice is shaky, just thinking about it. Um, and so, so she texts me, telling me that, and um, you know, I, I immediately thought he was not immediately dead, but he was dying. Because when dogs get hit, a lot of the times they'll have so much adrenaline pumped through the blood that they'll run to the other side of the street. They'll hide really quick and they'll they'll get away, but then they'll just slowly die. You know, I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen a dog been hit, but that's usually what happens, and it's so sad. Now she told me this, and I started freaking out. I was in class and. I, I just wanted to go home. I wanted to I wanted to see my dog, um, see you know my best friend. I wanted to see how he was doing. Luckily, the person did not hit him going as fast as it takes to kill a dog. Of course, Loki is in a lot of pain right now. We took him to the vet and he has been he is medicated, so he's not in all the pain he should be in, which I'm so thankful for. Um, he's got burns all over his body from the exhaust of the car. Um, so it was like, this doesn't really matter, but it was actually a police officer that hit him, um, and broke the car of, like, the, it broke the grill of the car. It broke the grill of the police officer's car. So I might be, have to, um, I might have to be paying for this cop's car to get fixed, even though he hit Loki. And it's, it's, that's so bad. We had to go to the vet and pay a vet bill. And, you know, everything. And the vet says he's fine. He, he's just, needs to take it easy. Obviously, he's going to be sore. But the way Loki got ran over, it's, it's a, it's literally a miracle that he is still alive. He was stuck under the car so badly that my mom had to run to, our shed and grab a a jack and jack the car up they couldn't there was no possible way that they could get him out without doing that and the the crazy part is how do you run over a dog without like crushing his legs or crushing his back like he wasn't he was in the middle of the car so a wheel had to have ran over his some part of his body it's just, it's just a miracle, and I'm so grateful that he's okay. Um, if I ha if I'm not throwing any pictures up, I'm sorry. Um, it's really hard to kind of just get pictures, but there's areas of Loki that's swollen as big as my fist. And my fist, like, that's not that small, you know? That's... His back has a really bad one. And it's, like, sticking out super far. It's about as big as my, as my like, fist. It was, it was a really, uh, hard thing for, like, everybody in my family. 
I mean, we've all we've all raised him, you know, like we've all done our part, everything that we've done. But we're just praying at this point that we don't get fined by the police, because you know I already had to pay a vet bill. You know, every everything like that. It's 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 such a crazy thing. At the time of um, me finding out that. Loki had just got hit. Um, Miranda's phone actually died. So as soon as she told me, as soon as I wanted to get out of class and make sure my dog was okay, I, cu I couldn't because my mom didn't check me out. My mom was driving him to the vet. Miranda's phone had just died. I, just, I, um, I asked her to show me a video on Snapchat because I wanted to see what he looked like. I wanted to see if he was just had so much adrenaline and he was just gonna die right as right as it like dropped now you guys that's gonna be at the end of the video I'm, but I'm sorry if I rambled on you guys um, I have a lot more stories I can tell you guys not all of them are definitely like some of them I have some pretty funny stories some of them I have really scary stories now I, I know my stories now aren't that good but I promise you guys they can get a lot better than what they are now this has been your boy D-Train, and as always, stay classy. Peace.